In this video, we asked some measure experts what they think is the number one habit or skill that you should build as a data-driven marketer. All and more coming up right after this. Hi there, and welcome to another video of MeasureSchool.com where we teach you the data-driven way of digital marketing. My name is Julian, and on this channel, we do marketing tech reviews, tutorials, and the occasional interviews, just like this one. So if you haven't yet, consider subscribing. Now, recently, we went to Measure Camp in London to hear the newest trends in measurement, but also talk to some measure experts. And we took our camera gear with us so we could capture some footage for you guys. And we asked the experts out there, what is the number one habit or skill that is important to build as a data-driven marketer? And here's what they said. In a way, is to forget about the data. It's not about data at all. It's about the stories um, and answering business questions. The whole point of analytics isn't create reports to do statistical or not that. It's to help your companies make more money. Depressing, but true. So, everything you do is focusing on how can this actually, what impact can this have? What business actions can it change? What questions did it answer? How that you focus the whole way through gives a purpose to the analytics and have a more value to people. And then it becomes, it's in your skills. Your skills aren't how to analyze data better. That's where you start off. As you mature and evolve as an analyst, you're across going, I can do this sort of work. How do I tell a story better? How do I help out more than the company to use the information as part of their jobs to help the company make more money? Well, you, you really need to be looking at uh, your analytics daily. Um, and you know, you need to know the key KPIs, the things that matter to the, the business or the website owner. You need to make sure you've got those transcribed into goals um, and that you're tracking those as either events or goals in, in Google Analytics. And you need to play, pay close attention to those, really to the exclusion of everything else. Uh, that is also a great question. Um, I think that it's really important to understand what you're trying to accomplish with data. Uh, so start with the measurement plan and really be sure that the KPIs or the key performance indicators for your business, um, are the data that you need to answer those or report on them is being collected. Uh, I think that's really fundamental. Um, a habit that I, I um, do or, or use, so um, well, I'm naturally curious as an analyst uh, and um, I kind of the way that I also kind of figure things out or learn is actually to ask questions. So uh, it's kind of um, it's good because it's like both it proves that I understand it because I'm asking stuff that I generally want to know, uh, and uh, it also it kind of like it's a way of um, learning quicker as well. So. Uh, um, it's the worst possible situation is if I'm stuck in a talk and I can't ask questions because then I'm like, you know, I'm a bit like, you know, a rabbit, like, I want to ask a question, like, you want to, like, know the answer. Um, and, um, yeah, and that's that's the way that I, you know, that's why I find this sort of stuff interesting is because, and I'm only asking questions that I generally, I don't know answers to myself and I generally want to find the answers out for. Um, so I guess hopefully that's why I've found got a legend bug. <laughs> Being ridiculously critical about all the advice they hear online. That's like the number one skill. Um, it's not just about analytics, it's all professions. Um, people have a tendency to exaggerate and tend to hyperbole when they're writing online material, um, myself included. It's really, really important that when somebody is learning the ropes in GA, for example, that they actually take the time to understand how the tool works rather than just copy paste solutions they find online. It's, it's so important to understand the mechanisms of the tool. Otherwise, you're just kind of building on um, building on faulty assumptions and you're, and you're ending up with even worse assumptions in the end. So just being really, really critical about everything you learn and, and trying to understand the whys and the hows instead of just kind of copy pasting the stuff you find. So I'd, I'd challenge all of the standard metrics, ignore things like bounce rates and conversion rates and time on page, and really drill down to understanding what's important for me, my business, my context, my consumers, and then starting to do things like set targets and forecasts against those, and ignore all of the things that the tool does out the box and really design your own success criteria. It's the same answer. All right, so there you have it. Staying curious, being critical of the advice that is out there on the internet, um, but also challenging the measurement, but also what goes into the data, the assumptions that go into the data, 
are uh, very important skills to build over time in your data-driven marketing career. What do you think? Do you agree? I would love to hear your thoughts in the comments below. And hey, if you like this video and you think it's useful for somebody who's just starting out in digital analytics, please go ahead and share this video and also subscribe to this channel because we'll bring you new videos every Wednesday. My name is Julian, till next time.